it's on video. Hi guys, <laughs> we're having trouble with this camera. <laughs> this is Toby, he's my wild dog. We thought maybe he was just such a rambunctious puppy till we got the puppies and they're not rambunctious like he is. <laughs> he's just full of vinegar. <laughs> But what I wanted to show you was we got mail today, something that I had ordered. Molly, come here, baby. Where's Molly? Look what we have. Yes, look. I ordered from Amazon. This is a leash uh, that has this attachment on it so you can walk two dogs at one time, two, my two little puppies. But it also, this hooks over the headrest in the car to um, hook to a halter to be their seat belt. We'll have to figure out how to do it because it's supposed to work with the leash that does two dogs. I haven't figured it out. But I think it was like 14 bucks at Amazon and it came with this little attachment that has the doggy bags in it. If you buy doggy waste bags, get them at Dollar Tree. There are 60 bags for a dollar. If you order them from PetSmart or somewhere, they're way I. For something you're going to throw away, get it from Dollar Tree. And this is Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Can you say hi? Yes. And it also came with a collapsible water dish. And if you bought this separate, I think it was $6.99. So that was a really good deal. And here's Molly. This is Molly Poodle. Molly is part... Poodle part by Sean Fouché, and she's six months old. Timmy is also six months old, and Toby was a year old in May. That's why I got the puppies. I thought he needed a friend. And then I ended up with two. And then this I also ordered. This is a cone. <laughs> Let's see what it's going to look like. Yes, it's, it's a cone. So when they have their surgery, which is coming up pretty soon, because I don't want a litter of puppies. This has hooks and Velcro to fasten it around their neck good and be their cone. <laughs> uh, somebody asked me about my dogs, so I'm going to tell you about them. Uh, Toby, I got in on the 4th of July in 2018. I had another dog named Zoe. She was eight years old and got really sick, and I had to put her down in February of 2018 just about killed me oh it stopped <laughs> oh there it was <laughs> commercial came up <laughs> anyway about killed me when she died so i decided i was not going to get another dog i'd had dogs all my life except for a brief period in my 20s uh i'd always had dogs but i decided i wasn't going to get another one because i was afraid i would die before they did I was afraid my heart couldn't take it if they died before I did, so just wasn't going to do it. But then, after several months of bawling my eyes out over Zoe passing, I realized I talked to that dog all the time, evidently, because <laughs> I would start to talk to her and she wasn't here. I'm hearing impaired. I really need a dog to let me know when something's going on. The timer going off in the kitchen or somebody at the door or whatever so I found this schnauzer in the paper this lady had three schnauzer puppies one was black one was black with white eyebrows and white beard and a white one well previously I've had schnauzers for the last 30 years uh, one of my earlier schnauzers was a solid white schnauzer and he was the most beautiful dog he really was and so when we went to look at the puppies, they were in another town south of us. Uh, my daughter and I went down there to find a puppy. Do not chew this up, Toby. Toby says, oh, it's a big, big squeaky toy. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, we went down and met this lady that had the puppies. And um, I just loved the black one with the white eyebrows and the white beard. But I'd really gone to get the white one. And we, we talked about it for a little while there, holding all the puppies. And my daughter told me, you will always regret it if you don't get the white one. Because they don't come across white ones very often. And they were cheap and because they're not registered. So I decided, yes, I'd get the white one. And the lady said, well, the little black one with the white eyebrows is the calmest dog of the three. 
Well, Ra uh, Rowdy Toady, Toby makes up for all of them. He is just bouncing from couch to chair to running around the table, up and down the hall, and carrying squeaky toys, and he's full of energy. I'm telling my daughter all the time, I wonder what that little calm puppy's doing about now. <laughs> and then, after when it was coming up to Toby's first birthday, I thought, maybe it's just that he's an only dog. Maybe he needs a friend, because before I always had two or three dogs. So, um, I looked to the paper, and this lady had these Bichon Poodle mixes. There was a whole bunch of them in that litter. And so I texted her. I don't call because I'm hearing impaired. But I texted her, and um, she said they were all spoken for. People had put deposits down on them, but um, she would call me if something happened and somebody decided they didn't want their puppy. So gave her my number so she could text me. And sure enough, later on, somebody couldn't take their puppy. It was a woman that had gotten, had, was buying her for her mother for a surprise. And then when she picked her up and took her to the mom, the dad said, no, we're not having that dog in the house. So poor little girl. I had to take her because <laughs> she'd been rejected. <laughs> but before I got her, I had, you know, it was like three weeks in between the time I talked to the lady the first time. I had also saw this Yorkie. Now he had been in the paper before and he was higher than I could afford but after I found out I couldn't get the little poodle mix I checked again and there was one left from his litter and she came way down on the price so I was able to afford him so I just figured the Lord meant for me to have these puppies because they were cheap enough for I, even I could afford them. That, that's unusual. So anyway, we went to the town north of us and got Timmy. And then, uh, then I had two puppies. They're both the same age. They're both six months old, which is why we have a cone because we've got to have some surgery so we don't have some puppies. Toby already had his surgery. <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to show you my grand dog too. He's here, but he won't, he's mad because his mama's waiting. <laughs> won't take him out. <laughs> I have a grand dog, Andy. He's nine years old and he's a beagle. He stays with me a lot because he and his mama live across the hall from me. And uh, he has separation anxiety, as do all my dogs. And oh, here, his mama's making him get up here with me. Um, he stays with me while she goes to work and school and church and out with friends and all that kind of stuff. So I have Andy a lot. All right, guys, I know my camera's about to quit filming, so I'm going to stop. Bye. Hi, guys, it's Carol. I'm going to try to add this to my next video that I do about my dogs because I forgot to do something. I wanted to give a shout out to a new sub of mine. The name of the channel is Wolf, W-O-O-F, and then Carrie, K-A-R-Y. I think you'll love it. I do. And I wanted to give a shout out to them. I don't know if it's a man or a woman that films it, but it's about a dog. So I wanted to tell you that. And I wanted to tell you, I may never put my hair in curlers again. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, with or without. <laughs> And uh, one time, somebody told me, man, you've got a lot of forehead. <laughs> yes, I do. I have this receding hairline awful. But anyway, and I have never dyed my hair, not once in my life. I had always had dark, dark hair, and I liked it, so I never dyed it any color. And I'm 65, and I still haven't dyed my hair. You can see gray in there. See, I've got gray. I don't know why it is still dark. I have no idea. It must be all that Dr. Pepper I drink. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to say hi, give a shout out to Wolf Carrie, also to Sweet Twisted Joy. You'll like her. Sweet Twisted Joy. Okay, don't know anything else. I'm going to see if I can attach this to that other video. Bye.